What's going on YouTube Onyx on this Mud 15 real quick lineup update uh, Nick Mangold as I said is is was I was gonna pick him up he's on the squad had to uh, replace Marquise Pouncey because this Mangold just looks too much like a beast that 99 strength I want to see what that 99 strength do um, like I said in the other in the video when I seen he was coming out um, I was a, a huge fan of, of his captain card. I never used his season veteran card just because the simple fact when it came out, I already had Pouncey. And it was just, in my opinion, retarded to get rid of Pouncey and to pick up a, a 95 overall center that was basically very similar to the center I already had and was weaker. And this man gold has 99 strength and 95 awareness. So I just feel like he should do better than uh, Pouncey. And in the realm of 99 overall centers, he is the strongest and uh, has very comparable stats to most of them. Obviously, the ultimate legend center has like the best all around stats, but he's not as strong as this man gold. And I feel like he should just be laying people out. But we shall see. 97 impact block, only 93 run block. But once again, 99 strength, I think, will definitely make up for that. Uh, he also has 99 pass blocks. So shouldn't have too many issues at the center position when it comes to uh, pass blocking at least and uh, his captain card was a really good run blocker for me so I, I expect this one to be just as good uh, picked up Yonda this is actually my first time using him um, I've been like on a heavy rotation of right guards I've never really found one that I liked um, that 97 Larry Allen was just not fast enough he was really good if I ran just straight power to his side he was really good at just moving people out of the way but if I you guys know my offense usually consists of a lot of pulling and counters and uh, halfback bases and stuff where my guards pull and he is just not the greatest pulling guard uh, very slow and uh, the ultimate legend one that I want I, I just don't really want to pay 300k like I could easily sell somebody if I really wanted to and pick him up for 300k but I really don't want to pay 350 for ultimate Larry Allen I just feel like that that in my opinion is not really worth 350k for that card um, offensive linemen are, are probably the most expensive things that you should be buying um, but 350 just I don't know I just can't justify it um, for the one card especially when you look at the rest of my offensive line it's like the whole offensive line together costs like 400k and that one card would cost as much as everybody else on my line um greg robinson i just i've used every left guard possible outside of that 99 overall josh sitting and no one that i've used has blocked better than this greg robinson especially in the run game i don't know what it is about him i've been saying this for a while i have no clue why he blocks as good as he does but he is amazing, especially in the run game. He is amazing. Uh, Peters isn't going anywhere ever. I don't care about any of those 99 overall left tackles. I'm keeping Jason Peters. I'm an Eagles fan, obviously, and he's a really good left tackle, so why would I get rid of him? Uh, Vollmer, I've used all the 99 overall right tackles, and um, Vollmer has been just as good or better than them. Uh, was not a huge fan of Dan Deerdorf. Ricky Wagner was really good and like pulling and stuff like that, but I never really seen him laying people out. Like I just, he was good at getting blocks and holding them, but I, I, I don't know. I guess he wasn't strong enough to just put people down. I don't know. This Vollmer puts people down, even though his run block isn't even that ridiculously high, but his strength is high. So I'm just going off. Maybe it's his strength. Maybe it's just the card. I don't know. Cause like I said, with, with Greg Robinson, his strength is like 84, but he just lays people out. So I don't know what it is, but there's something about Vollmer that, for me at least, he plays better than the other two 99 right tackles, which I have had both. I've had Deerdorf and I had Ricky Wagner. And, uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully Mangold comes in and runs some people over. Mark Ingram is the starting running back. He might be there for a little bit. I don't know. I just don't feel like spending any coins on running backs when I get the same production out of this Mark Ingram that I was getting out of fucking 99 overall running backs. So I think I'm going to stick with this Mark Ingram. Uh, went and picked up Jerry Rice to go alongside Des Bryant. Threw Macklin in the slots. Uh, Cecil Shorts is at the four. That's basically all the receivers I have. 
as you can see this 83 Jordan Matthews at the five which he's just there just in case uh, the free Barry Sanders that just came out today is backing up Mark Ingram uh, didn't do anything at tight end like I said I don't really use them for much except blocking so I'm not really gonna spend any coins on them uh, we let Trufant go we, we sold Trufant um, he just wasn't getting it done honestly he just really good stats uh, didn't translate on the field at least for me maybe he plays better for you guys but for me his stats did not translate over on the field um, this Parrish Cox played five times better than that Desmond Trufant every every play he was on the field he did way better than that Trufant so uh, seeing as Trufant would have been in the slot anyway I just decided to go ahead and sell him let my man Parrish get in the slot so we can uh, keep him on the field because I really like I really like this 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 card. He, he he does really good for me. He has really good stats, and he has amazing amazing speed. He literally has like the exact same speed, acceleration, and agility as the 99 Richard Sherman. So obviously he's good enough to keep up with a lot of people, and he just doesn't have the man and zone coverage that Sherman has, or the press or play rec, obviously. But he's not a 99 but he's fast enough to keep up with a lot of things and that makes up for a lot of his uh his coverage downfalls uh clowny still there Poe still there put ezekiel ansa on the other side honestly he just i i would use him in certain packages and and uh, switch him in and every time he came in we would just get crazy pressure so i just decided to start him and see if maybe that would work out um justin houston did not see much from him he would get in the backfield and get some tackles every now and then but i i just didn't see the impact for a damn near 400k card that uh i wanted to see so got rid of him through 30k ryan kerrigan in there and uh i've played a game i played one game with this full team already and he well actually i played three games <laughs> but it's all one video and he did great he was he was doing exactly what I needed him to do so we're probably gonna stick with him for a while this Trent Cole has also been amazing for me um, I just threw Keekly and Wagner the two cheap 95 middle linebackers here cuz it, it really seems like no point for me to have those super expensive middle linebackers cuz they don't tend to do anything more unless you have like those 24-hour ridiculous beasts nobody that I've had seems to do but so much better outside of like a uh, 99 Patrick Willis was was like the only person that was like an obvious upgrade uh, from any of the other linebackers I've used Patrick Willis was like the only person uh, I haven't used that Ray Lewis but like I said they have very similar stats so he'll probably be the only other person that will seem like an obvious upgrade over uh, any of these other linebackers that would just be disgusting running into somebody running a 3-4 with that Patrick Willis and that Ray Lewis. That'd be nasty. That would be scary. But yeah, uh, my man Weddle at free safety because you know me and Weddle make plays. Taylor Mays at strong safety. He can't go anywhere ever. Uh, at least not until next Madden. I don't know what I'm going to do when next Madden come out and I, I don't have Taylor Mays. But I guess we'll find out. But yeah, so that is what the squad is looking like right now. Um, I don't foresee too many changes. Uh, like I said, it depends on who comes out uh, Friday and Saturday and whatnot and Sunday and maybe some cards that come out. But I want to get kind of like Parrish Cox. But until then, this is what the team is going to look like. Uh, like I said, I already played a couple of games with this team, uh, a bunch of quits. <laughs> it was actually pretty hilarious. I don't know. I, w I, was, I might put it out later today. I put out a game already. I might put that game out with this full team later today. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys want. If you guys want to see it today, I'll put it out tonight. Uh, if not, it'll be up in the morning. But let me know if you want to see that those games. It's literally three games. People, people, everybody quits. I, I don't know. I don't know why I always run into these bad people. I don't know. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I'm Onyx, and I'm out of here.